Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a setup guide for Forza Emu Wheel and Forza Horizon 5. Um, now this is going to be a somewhat complete guide of setting it up on the Windows Store version with menu support. Now this guide will work for the Steam version as well, uh, but you need to find the uh, the directory for where the Steam version installs because I don't have that version, I'm not 100% sure um, but I'm sure that information will be fairly easy to come by. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to first download VJoy uh, for the Emu Wheel so I'll have all the links in the description as well um, but first of all before we go any further um, I think it's uh, about time that the author of MUL really got some recognition and really got some support for the amount of work that he does in the community. He's literally helped thousands of people get their steering wheels working um, for little to no return. Um, so all his software is free. Um, so if you are so inclined to um, help him out, um, feel free to click on the About section and send him a donation. Uh, if not, um, just show your appreciation by going into the Discord and uh, just dropping a, a heart-warmed or heartfelt thank you for uh, for his help in getting your stuff working. Uh, basically, all the links will be here under Forza Emuel. We have the Emuel version 1.4 Alpha, so you need to download that and extract its contents. And then, basically, you just want to follow this very easy-to-follow setup guide uh, that he's put together. Um, so pretty much this first step is irrelevant now because uh, Windows is much, uh, much very well past that and if you're playing Forza you've uh, definitely passed that build. Um, obviously download the VJoy installer, there is a link here to download it but I'll leave a link in the description as well. Um, configure VJoy in the same settings as this window, you just want to make sure you copy this exactly, it's pretty straightforward, just tick all the boxes on the left and right hand side. Number of buttons, 128, POV hat switches, four directions uh, with POV set to one. If you do not copy these settings exactly, you will get errors in MU wheel, so make sure you do this step correctly. Uh, and then basically just, just follow the uh, the rest of the, the steps here. It's pretty straightforward, uh, I'm not going to go too deep into that because it is fairly, fairly easy to do. Uh, but once you do have that, uh, basically you have your files extracted and uh, VJoy is set up. Uh, you want to run the configurator and map all your controls. I'll just give you this as a quick visual uh, because some people do get confused on this as well so I'm just going to load my config. As you can see you basically map each input by pressing the set button um, until you've mapped all the controls that you have. Uh, D-pad down the bottom here. Um, buttons on the right hand window here, basically you click set and then select the button from the drop down menu. It doesn't really matter what you set them as but if you want the menu support to make sense uh, as long as you get the view menu A, B, X, Y, previous gear and next year gear uh, the menu support will work uh, like it would natively. Uh, so as long as you have the paddle shifters as previous gear and next gear um, and all these set the same the menu support will make sense when you add that in. So basically once you have everything mapped and you do want to map every button on your wheel here because if you don't you won't be able to use it in the game. Click save and then you can close that, run hush and make sure your devices are muted. So however many devices are mapped in the configurator uh, it, and you will or hush will mute them accordingly so basically they will not interact directly with Forza anymore. Then you run Forza Emu wheel as long as you don't get any errors, you can click start. If you do have errors, uh, one of the common ones is obviously issues with the uh, VJoy configurator, so make sure you get that spot on. Uh, the next one would be a VJoy interface DLL error. Um, that's a pretty easy one to fix. All you need to do is go to, uh, if you leave your MUL folder open, and just go to your C drive go to program files vjoy x64 and then just copy right click and drag the vjoy interface dll copy that into here copy here and replace the old one that will 
uh, cure that issue and then you should be able to start MUL. Then once you can start MUL, basically what you want to do is launch Forza Horizon 5. Okay, so once you've loaded into the game, you can go to your controls, custom mapping, go to wheel and select a custom wheel profile. Now if this doesn't show up, occasionally what you may have to do is just uh, press the left and right arrows on your keyboard and then the custom profile option should show up. And basically just go through, as you can see I've already got mine mapped, um, but just do all the mappings that you need to in order to save the file and then click save and then you can go back and basically what we're going to do right now is close the game and then add the menu controls. So what we want to do uh, for the Windows Store version is we want to go to our app data file, so we type percent app data percent and then hit enter and it's going to take us to this file. You want to click app data local packages and then Forza Horizon 5 is now a coded file, so it's 624F, Microsoft.624F, blah 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 blah. So we double click that, go to System App Data, WGS, the longer coded file, which is your profile. And then we're going to sort by date, and our custom controller profile should be right near the top. Uh, so depending on how many custom profiles you have, it'll be somewhere between 170 to 200 kilobyte, and it'll just be a single file with a container dot folder in there as well. Uh, now I'll just quickly show you what it will look like if you if it is the wrong file. If you try to open it with Notepad, you'll basically get something that will look completely empty or something that is completely encrypted, which is no good for us. So basically, what you're looking for is something like this when you open it with notepad it will give you quite clear uh, custom controller text so what we want to do is find our custom controller mapping so I've just remapped custom controller profile number three so this one here so what we want to do is find the end of our first context which is basically the only context uh, the game allows you to map so here you can see that is the end of the context. So what we want to do whoops, is select everything from the next context down until we get to our end of raw controller input. As we keep going down just here. So here you can see we have our next profile. So basically we want to select from just after the end context for the first batch of context which is your just your generic inputs um, so select all of that and then download the text file that I have supplied in the description copy all of its contents and basically paste it over top of this including the final line uh, raw end raw game controller input mapping profile so once you have copied that and paste it, you will see we'll go from slightly shorter text, we paste that in, and now we have much more text which is all of the menu controls. So we can hit save, close that down, relaunch the game and you should be all set to go. So that's going to bring us to the end of the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and got your stuff working, if not leave some comments in the comment section and I'll help out where I can uh, but like I said at the start of the video uh, please please show some support uh, to First Plateau the creator of MUL because I know there's quite a few videos out there now covering MUL and how it can fix Forza for many people and I don't think he gets enough recognition so if you can give him a donation through the link on the website uh, if not leave a comment in in the comment sections just saying simply thank you first plateau um, or head to the discord and uh, drop him a message in there and just let him know that you appreciate what he does that, that's going to wrap up the video hope you enjoyed watching and I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one bye